Hey everyone, in this video, ChatGPT is going to teach us about connected and compact spaces in topology. In topology, a connected space is a topological space that cannot be represented as a union of two or more disjoint non-empty open subsets. This intuitively means that there are no gaps or separations in the space. On the other hand, a compact space is a topological space in which every open cover has a finite subcover. This property is an abstract version of being bounded and closed. Connected and compact spaces are two important concepts in topology. A topological space is connected if it cannot be divided into two disjoint, non-empty open sets, while a space is compact if every open cover has a finite subcover. These properties help us understand the structure and characteristics of the space. Question one, is the interval zero one in the standard topology on R, a connected space? Justify your answer. So the answer is yes, it is connected, but proving this is gonna be a little bit difficult. So I think we're gonna have to prove this by contradiction, meaning that we're gonna have to assume that this open interval zero comma one can be divided into two disjoint non-empty open sets. So our assumption is that zero one can be divided into two disjoint non-empty open sets U and V. Now I'm not quite sure what to do from here because I'm not quite sure what U and V look like. I'm pretty sure that open spaces in R are just unions of open intervals. And so U and V would be both unions of open intervals. I'm not quite sure how to get a contradiction from that. Since U is an open set in R, then U is a union of open intervals and V is a different union of open intervals. And I'm actually not sure how to finish this proof. So I'm gonna move on to number two and hopefully ChatGPT can help me improve my answer here. Number two, is the closed interval zero one in the standard topology on R a compact space? Justify your answer. So my answer is yes, because the closed interval from zero to one is bounded and closed. We know that the set is closed since the complement, which is from negative infinity to zero, non-inclusive of zero, union one, non-inclusive of one to infinity, is a union of two open sets, which is open. That said, however, I'm gonna tell ChatGPT that I'm not quite sure why bounded and closed sets in R are considered compact. I've seen the proof before, but it's been a long time. So I'm gonna tell ChatGPT I'm not entirely sure why bounded and closed sets in R are compact by definition. I'd be interested in learning why this is true in the future. Let's move on to number three. Is the set of rational numbers Q in the standard topology on R a connected space? Why or why not? The answer is no, because between any two rational numbers is an irrational number. There's actually uncountably many irrational numbers between any two rational numbers. So this actually shows that Q is incredibly disconnected. All right, let's look at our next topics. We could do the Euclidean algorithm in number theory. That would be pretty interesting. The concept of fields in abstract algebra, convergence in real analysis, and manifolds in differential geometry. Let's do convergence in real analysis. All right, let's see how ChatGPT responds. Great job in providing intuitive reasons for your answers. For the first question, your intuition about using open intervals to prove that zero one is connected is on the right track. The formal proof involves showing that any two points in zero one can be joined by a continuous function, which means the set is connected. That's interesting. I think I understand what's going on here. I think I have seen this before when I took topology. I'd be interested in seeing what this formal proof looks like. For the second question, your understanding that zero one is compact because it's both closed and bounded is correct. The heine borel theorem, oh, that's right, I remember that, is what formally states that in Rn, a set is compact if and only if it is closed and bounded. Your reasoning for why Q is not connected is spot on. Okay, so I would like to see what the heine borel theorem is in the future. I remember that being a very important theorem. Feedback, well done on your attempts to answer these questions. Your intuition about these concepts is excellent and you are showing a good grasp of the ideas in topology. It's perfectly fine to not know how to formally prove everything right now. That's part of the learning process and you're making great progress. This is pretty good motivational feedback. Like ChatGPT could have been very critical of my answers, but this is pretty uplifting. I like it. Progress. Throughout our discussions, you have been demonstrating a robust understanding of a wide array of mathematical topics from algebraic structures to number theory and most recently topology. 
You've shown an excellent grasp of foundational topics and are starting to tackle more advanced concepts such as connectedness and compactness in topology. Your ability to attempt and provide intuitive explanations for your answers is quite impressive. Now, before we get into the next video, which is on convergence in real analysis, I want to mention that it's kind of weird how number one is a question that we have been asked before in a previous video within this conversation. So I'm going to say number one is a question that has been asked before, which I answered correctly. And hopefully ChatGPT will give me a better response. Now, these questions do go into concepts that we haven't discussed yet, which are Cauchy sequences. And so I'm actually going to say that the new answer is better. And it's going to post this new answer for our next video. Thanks everyone. And I'll see you in the next video.